goddamn right. And you're gonna make a difference. This one comes with a basic sort of digital package. Hey, you can make money off my name, make it, okay? You got the power to change lives, right? Hello and welcome to the Barry J. McDonald podcast. If you're interested in creating your own digital product or just want to learn more, you're in the right place. Whether you're just starting out or have been working on your digital product for a while, we hope that our podcast will provide valuable insights and inspiration to help you on your journey. Take it away, Barry. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode. Now, if you've been listening to the podcast over this past couple of days, you might have noticed a difference in the audio. Hopefully it is better than it used to be. Originally I used to record the podcast in the car. I simply had a smartphone in my hand and then I would use the Anchor.fm app to record the podcast episodes. So it was okay but it wasn't perfect. But I decided to do the podcast um, from home now and the reason I'm doing it from home is because what I'm doing now is I'm recording a video to go with the podcast. So right now at the moment I have a microphone on a boom and I'm recording a video here with the webcam on my laptop. Now the reason I'm doing that is because first of all video is a great format to have for repurposing. You know if you have a long length video you can take it as it is. You can put it on YouTube, you can put it on Facebook, you can put it on some of the video, video platforms. But what you can also do with a video is you can slice it down into smaller segments. Now some social media platforms only allow you to have a short video so you can take a segment out of the video and you can put it on Twitter you can probably use it as a Facebook reel or maybe an Instagram reel or whatever so you're getting more use out of that video and then as well too if you put the video up to YouTube YouTube will actually give you the subtitles of the video so what you can do is you can take all the text from the subtitles and actually create an article with it and again that's just starting with one piece of content so video is a really really kind of universal it's it's very versatile to use to change into different formats now the reason the second reason why i'm recording this as a video along with the audio track is because i'm forcing myself to get out of my comfort zone when i originally had recorded the first couple of episodes of this podcast i probably like you when i listened back to my own voice cringed at how i sounded and for a while I needed to kind of push myself through it just to ignore how I sounded on the audio track just to get the episodes up. Now another step for me outside that comfort zone was to record videos on my smartphone. I'm sure if you probably have been following me for long at all you will probably have heard me or maybe seen me walking my dog and recording videos on my smartphone. Again the quality of those probably earlier podcasts weren't brilliant because there was probably a lot of sound blowing through. There was probably a dog barking or whatever. So they weren't the best but again I forced myself to do it. I forced myself to record the videos because I'm not model material but I wanted to get myself out of my comfort zone. Now in this case here what I'm doing is I'm recording these videos because it's another step for me. It's another, at the moment again I'm feeling uncomfortable probably recording this video but I'm trying to force myself that it will at some stage get comfortable because I know that whatever I'm looking to do is going to be beyond the person that I am right now. You know if you imagine if you were on a beach and you drew a circle around yourself with a stick everything that you have, your health, your possessions, your skills and everything is basically what you have in that circle. Everything you have is you in that circle. Now whatever we're looking for sometimes our next goal may be to be might to be to have a better car maybe a better house maybe to have a million dollars maybe to have a huge uh, following on a social media platform those things are outside your circle they're beyond you now if they weren't you would actually have them right now you'd have the money you'd have the house you'd have the mansion you'd have the swimming pool you'd have the the, jet, the Learjet or whatever it was you would have all those but the reason you don't have those is because they are outside the circle they're outside what you are capable of right now now for a lot of us we like staying in this kind of circle of comfort it's nice and comfortable there we're used to it we're not kind of going outside a comfort zone we don't we're not going to allow anything to embarrass ourselves everything is really really safe and sometimes being in that safe space while it feels good it doesn't really benefit us and and what I would say to you is, what I'm also saying to myself, is that the things that I am looking for are out beyond the circle that I'm standing in. You know, if I want to build 
a bigger following on TikTok, that bigger following is outside the circle that I'm in. You know, if I want to make more money, the more money that I'm looking to get is outside my circle. Because, as I said, if they're not outside the circle, well then I'd have both of them right now. But the fact that I don't have them both right now, it means they are further out than where I am. So that's the second reason that I am recording the video here is because it's not comfortable for me to do. But I'm going to do it until it makes, it eventually becomes comfortable and I don't think about it anymore. And at that point then I'll know that my circle has expanded. And I'll know then that if I'm looking for another goal which is beyond my circle, it means I have to take another step out. I have to do something that maybe I'm not comfortable doing right now. Again, probably open myself up to embarrassment open myself up maybe to criticism or, or mistakes or whatever or failure or whatever I'll need to get over those things and eventually that circle bigger circle will overlap the goals that I'm looking to achieve so as I said that's what's going on at the moment with the podcast you probably don't notice it if you're just listening to the audio track but if you're over on platforms like TikTok or Facebook or whatever you can now see the video of the episode again sometimes I cringe how I look again Still not comfortable with my voice, but as I said, we just sometimes need to get outside our circle because the things that we are looking for are usually beyond us. I remember reading one time or hearing one time that someone said that you can't fit a bigger life into a smaller version of you. You know, if you are like a shot glass, there's only so much we can hold in. We probably couldn't put a litre of water in you. It would just all overflow after the shot glass filled at the top. And if you were to take on a larger life, if you were to take on that full volume, that one liter, you would need to be a liter glass instead. So whatever you're looking to achieve this year, just be aware that, you know, if you want a bigger life, it's going to involve a bigger version of you. You're going to need to expand. You're going to need for your circle that you're in right now, your circle of comfort, you're going to need it to expand that it overlaps all those things that are further out from you until they actually become part of your life. Because as I said, if we don't have them right now, it means that they are beyond us. That we're not enough right now for those things. Now, not as a person. You know, we could be great citizens. We could be great people. But the person we are right now needs to kind of develop. It needs to expand. It needs to, you know, to get more out of a comfort zone. To develop more skills, talents or experience or whatever. Until you actually absorb all those other things. So give that some thought today. That is what's happened the podcast and as I said as we're kind of starting in 2023 I thought it was a good time maybe just to take another step out just to get comfortable with something else and we'll see will I get go closer to the goals that I'm looking to achieve as always have a lovely day and take care of yourself bye bye thanks for listening if you're interested in learning more about how to create your own profitable digital course from scratch we have a special report that we know you'll love to pick up your copy of piggyback profits how to make your first profitable course, go to rightcome.com now. We'll see you in the next episode.